what's up guys dynamic tech here welcome back hope you guys are doing great and in this video i'm gonna give you a quick comparison of two great browsers one of them is the google chrome and the second one is opera gx so without wasting time let's start the video So we're gonna collect information of the both of the browser's abilities and we're gonna represent them in the form of points. Points for Google Chrome are on top left corner and points for the Opera GX are on top right corner. Let's start the comparison. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna calculate of both of the browsers is the startup time. So let's check the startup type of the Google Chrome first. okay it took a bit but it is started now and let's check out the startup time of opera gx browser yeah i think you saw that the opera gx browser is more slower than google chrome in starting up so in this session our Google Chrome browser got the first point, but the Opera GX got zero. The next thing we're gonna compare is the sound effects and SFX. So as we all know, if we type something in Google Chrome, like this, or if we open a tab, close a tab, click anywhere, hover anywhere our mouse, we got no sound effects or no sound for each thing but if we go to opera gx and here you will see a bunch of sound effects because this browser is developed for the gamers and the sound effects are essential thing for gaming or cinematic things like this so if we type here something please listen the sound of clackety And trust me, I'm not making it from my actual keyboard. It's coming inside the Opera GX. Yeah, it's it's completely from the Opera GX. And if we open a new tab from here, listen the sound. I hope you listened that. And if I close it, a sound effect again. And if I hover my mouse on any tile, you can listen the hover sound. You can always configure these sound effects in from this slider menu in the corner. Click on that and scroll a bit. And then here you will see under the features browser sounds. You can turn them off, you can turn them on, or you can configure it each sound effects clearly. And here we all can see that there are a bunch of sound effects according to Opera GX. It is for typing. You can listen that tab open tab close and limiters click hover and moreover and of course better with the headphones so opera GX is developed for gamers and it has a bunch of sound effects and sfx which makes our browsing a little more interesting than google chrome so in this stage opera gx got one point and chrome is also on one point the next thing we're gonna check is monitoring of both of the browsers. So if we go in the Google Chrome, here we got nothing built in function or software or extension from which we can check out our RAM usage or CPU usage. But if we open Opera GX, in this browser on the top left corner here beneath the Opera GX icon, you would see a GX control option. If you click on that, a new tab will appear and here you will see your RAM usage right here and your CPU usage under that RAM usage. And you can also limit them for the use as you can limit your CPU by clicking on CPU limiter, enabling it and you can limit your CPU to the 50% so it doesn't use more CPU and your computer's life can be gained 
from this but Google Chrome doesn't support anything like this so in this stage O projects also got one point so it has total two and the Google Chrome is on one okay so the next thing we're gonna consider is multiple workspaces so Opera GX has multiple workspaces but first if you install your Opera GX and you have default settings then you will not find it so all you have to do is click on under this sidebar oh there is also one more difference that Opera GX has a toolbar or sidebar Chrome doesn't but I will not give any point for this to Opera GX so you have to click on these three dots here click on it and a new tab will appear and here in the second stage you will see workspaces all you have to do is click on this slider enable workspaces and you have different workspaces to work with one is the home and second it is appearing as a gamepad because it is a gaming browser but if you click on this gamepad you are on workspace too if you click on home you are on one and if you add a new tab here and if you click on this workspace 2 the first tab is not appearing and on the home it is appearing so it's like the multiple desktops Microsoft gave us first in Windows 10 and now it is also in Windows 11 so it is like multiple desktops you can work with so I would give a point to Opera GX now Opera GX has 3 and Chrome 1 the next thing we're gonna check out is sync with windows in this section we will find how a browser sync with windows personalization and colors so first let's change our windows colors from dark to light i'm gonna turn on light mode and as all you can see the windows is now light and bright and if i open google chrome it is also white but if i open opera gx it is still dark because it uses its own personalization i don't know why but the opera gx uses its own personalization and doesn't sync with the windows but you can always change your personalization and theme from here from this slider and here you can set up light auto dark and whatever you want so click on light and as you can see the opera is looking really great now it is light and bright but it doesn't sync with the windows so i would give a point to google chrome for this google chrome now has two points and opera gx is on three the next thing we're gonna see is screenshot or snapshot option in both of the browsers so first open google chrome and let's say i have something interesting on my screen and i want to save it in the form of picture or a screenshot so there is no option built in for google chrome to capture the screen and take a snapshot but if i open opera gx here on the top bar you will see a camera here all i have to do is click on this camera and i have to crop the image which i want to save from the screen and i can capture full screen by clicking on this capture full screen or all i have to do is click on this capture and it is gonna capture the image and i can also edit this image from these tools so opera gx got one point for this and chrome is on too after collecting all the results we find that opera gx is in common things by the way there are tons of things we can compare of these two browsers but i picked up only the common ones so in common use and overall performance we find that opera gx is our winner with four points and chrome has two points this video is not sponsored by opera i'm just helping you guys to find a better browser for yourself so hope you enjoyed the video if you did then give it a thumbs up and if you're new on the channel then click on subscribe button also click on bell notification to get all the updates let me know in the comment section how do you think about this video see you in the next video take care